Uh, so some standouts right away. I thought a lot of the composition and light shaping was really nice, especially with the TV. There was some detail there and some animation of the flickering that was really reinforcing the vibe. Um, I liked the art style quite a bit. I think it complemented the animation style as well, the kind of fluidity of everything. It had a sort of liquid effect, and I think that came across really well. Um, and it had a nice, healthy message. Uh, I think that, that came across very clearly um, and pretty directly. Um, I think one piece of feedback would be that you could probably feed that into a character motivating moment and, and help it emotionally resonate versus informationally resonate, but I think it was very effective as an informational communication. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I had there. I think the music helped reinforce things very well. Um, and that's all I have, yeah. yeah. Uh, hey. Um, the thing I like about it most is it shows, so the, the message is this red 40 is bad. And don't consume it, change your life, you know it. That's what I gathered from it. But, the way you tell me I should feel that way is you put the main character in a situation that more than likely all of us have been in, where you're at a grocery store, you're buying an object, I'm sure we've all heard of a food diet somewhere or another that's linked to whatever in some way, and then like maybe unconsciously you just check and just see if it has it. And that forces me to be like, oh, I do exactly what they're doing in the screen, so this tells me it's a common enough problem, and it's showing me how to identify the problem, and then it's giving me the solution to the problem. So you're showing me red 40 is bad, here's how you can change it, and then you're having a subject physically go through the back and forth of coming to that conclusion, which is pretty uh, awesome in terms of storytelling. <clears throat> um, a few things that stood out is I feel like uh, it needs more frames, uh, like more movement frames, and I know time is definitely a constraint. Um, but yeah, just definitely more frames, uh, some more sound effects, and variation in music. I typically, um, I typically pick out three to four songs for a project, and then use two to three. And I, use, I try to find varying things, varying emotions in the music that I'm looking for, because at some points it seemed like it was light and hearty, and other times it seemed like it was more dark and serious, but I didn't get that vibe through the music. Uh, so the music is crucial because that tells me with or without words how I, the viewer, should feel uh, for this scene. So that's that, that's my feedback on that part. And uh, the progression to change was really clever. I loved how you used the red droop or the red piece of hair as an indicator of health. And then you showed how that changed into a different color to indicate a healthy person. And then you showed the benefits of it if the characters change of posture and overall attitude seem like so yeah good job <laughs> Wait, what? red dye red dye red dye get the red dye one away mm -hmm. yeah <laughs>